finally made it here at the 2015 Queen's Play, and we're here with the legendary broadcaster, Mr. Gillard. How are you? I am doing really well. I like that word, legendary. I don't know if I've earned that yet. Okay, listen, in my books, you have the chops for it. I just saw you do your thing as an MC. <laughs> Tell me a little more. What does it mean to you being here at the 2015 Queen's Plate? I think it is, uh, it's almost surreal right now because I've been here such a short time and it's such a huge history that this race has. I've seen this race, watched it from afar for so long. To be actually right in the thick of it, uh, to have met the trainers this morning, to see the incredible feel that we've got assembled, I mean, it's a race caller's dream. It really is. Sure, for sure. Uh, you know, what do you predict? Who's gonna? Th who do you think is gonna win? You got the insight here I... right now. <laughs> who do you think is gonna win for Sunday? For Sunday's I... race? It's really. I haven't made a full decision yet. But when I was watching and calling the plate trial, I was really impressed with the winner, Danish Dynaformer. That horse really. It seemed really intelligent. Every time that jockey asked that horse to make a move to the inside, to the outside, responded. And I like that about a horse. At the same time, there was a horse on the outside closing, Conquest Boogaloo, mm -hmm. and I know he's had traffic issues, mm -hmm. and I mean, traffic's bad in Toronto, but <laughs> traffic, <laughs> honestly, it could be a horse that could be a threat. They are my two that I'm looking to, and for third, I put in Shaman Ghost. They are my three, actually, at this point. Wicked. Tell me, for our viewers out there with Spotlight TV, what can they expect here for the 2015 Queen's Plate on Sunday? I think you can expect an amazing event. I mean, this is more than a horse race, as you know. There's so much put behind the scenes here into fashion, music, food, all the things that I think Torontonians love. And the other part is it's such a huge tradition. There's going to be, um, well, the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario is here, Elizabeth Lady, Elizabeth Dowswell. I, I think it's the pageantry. It's the absolute atmosphere of what everyone's anticipating. And to me, you just can't get that and not have a good time. For sure, for sure. Who are you looking forward to meeting? Like, There's going to be a lot of celebrities out here to show their support. A lot of Canadian celebrities, perhaps maybe some Hollywood, because we are considered Hollywood North. Who are you looking forward to meeting on I, Sunday? I would like to know who I should be looking out for. This is a tough one for me to answer because I've been stuck away up in the booth a little bit. Um, but I, uh, I honestly don't have an answer on that. I'd like to certainly meet someone who um, you could recommend. <laughs> How about maybe one of the jockeys, perhaps? Oh, the jockeys, I, I've had a chance to meet the jockeys. They're fantastic. I mean, they have been so welcoming. I did know Luis Contreras from Sunland Park, donde trabajando durante el invierno. Um, and I must say that uh, they have received me with great warmth and it's been a really nice reception. Um, it would be nice if the Queen of England could come and visit me. I'm only kidding. <laughs> but you know, I was born in England. And so for me, this is one of the actual features of the race that I think is great. I mean, I, I kind of wanted a bit of that traditional part of myself back in racing. And the Queen's Plate really personifies that. This one's definitely not to be missed. I'm looking forward to the 2015 Queen's Plate event. For more information, all you got to do is head over to the website. All you got to do is go to queensplate.com.